up guys, Morgan here. So I created a problem for myself. I'm sure if a lot of you guys are YouTubers, you've definitely probably accumulated video gear uh, throughout you know the time that you've been filming. It was this Mavic Air um, that I just got the other day that was the final breaking point for me. I have so many chargers, I have so many batteries. This isn't even all of it. This is only filming gear. Uh, I do a little bit of like amateur photography on the side as well. I have uh, shoe boxes full of brackets and flashes and soft boxes and tons of stuff that you know, isn't necessarily for this. This is all stuff that mainly has to be recharged though. There's so much gear here that I charge batteries in the bathroom. I charge them in the kitchen on the counter. Uh, I ran out of wall outlets to put all the chargers. I use most of this throughout a normal day of filming. Ronin for the buttery smooth gimbal shots. My main camera, GoPros are always great for an extra angle, helmet cam, something like that. And I haven't even really started filming paramotor videos, which is, crazy i have a chase cam that's going to need a gopro i mean there's there's a there's a lot to filming i did youtube for about two years when i had my last channel first react tech so i know what what you other youtubers go through and it's uh i, I give props to you it's a, it's a lot of work spent more hours and sleepless nights than i can count editing so today's video is going to be a solution to that it's going to be me building a charging station wall mount four by four pegboard that i can hang all my chargers on, run all the cords nice and neat. So that's today's project. We're gonna make a wall mounted charging station. Let's do it. guys I'm really happy with the way it turned out I've been using it for about three weeks now I finished it within the first week that I was home it's a little overkill when it comes to just hanging up the tripods and stuff but the batteries the charging station part of it itself has been a huge help I come home I download all my cards into my laptop throw the GoPros in the basket stick the batteries in the charger if I used a monitor screen or a light I throw the Sony batteries on their charger I have a whole basket of fully charged batteries I got my Canon batteries hanging off over here I still have plenty of outlets in case I have like the individual chargers that just need uh, you know, their own outlet. I got my Mavic Air set up here so that when all the batteries are off of it, I can still pull the cord out and bring the charging cable with me if I wanna charge one at a time on the go. While it's on the wall, it's just sticky taped up there and it works great. You just snap in the batteries. It charges the closest one to being done first. And that's it, it's good to go. Some of the things that stay in the basket are just the ends of charging cables. So like for the DJI Ronin batteries, I just hook them to the cable, leave them in the bucket. Same thing with like the Mavic Air controller. 
just have the USB right in a bucket, plug it in, throw it in the basket. I also have some extra mini USB cables that are just zip tied real close to the basket um, just to plug something in and let it sit there. I got one hanging down to charge the Cena on my Bluetooth helmet, my lenses, a couple small totes just for random cables, USB, USB-C cables, and still some room to expand. Bigger stuff that I don't want to take down all the time, my light stand. I have some more in the closet. I have a big like wooden trunk that I keep most of the big obnoxious stuff, like the DJI Ronin, I keep all that folded down stuffed in the trunk it's not something I use every day like these batteries this this wasn't meant to be a tutorial but uh might just give you an idea of, of how to set up some type of charging station the shelves turned out really nice just cedar boards that we had in the barn that I cut up and urethane they look really good a couple stick on lights I mean simple stuff man let me know what you think down in the comment section below punch that thumbs up button in the face if you like this video subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you on the next one